Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday. I just finished filming my haul for you guys, so you would have already seen that by the time this vlog goes up, but I will link it for you guys if you haven't checked it out. But I just filmed that and I was just sitting here going through the clips just to make sure everything was fine before I started this vlog. So yeah. Today is already starting out to be a great day. PJ and I went to Whole Foods, we went to Sephora, and we went for a nice walk today. As you guys can see, the sun is shining, which is why I am in a, such a good mood because let me tell y'all, it has been so dreary and so ugly and so cold here. It's been pretty depressing. And so to actually see some sunshine just instantly lifts my mood so i did get some new flowers and i decided to go with yellow tulips because we got some sunshine you know so i'm going to switch out my flowers i also got some little baby's breath because i like to put those back there by my coffee <laughs> station uh Okay, yeah, by my coffee station. And we picked up some fruit, so I am just letting that soak before I put it away. Also, my Whole Foods finally got all three of the Califia almond creamers that I've been obsessed with. Let me show you. This obsession is pretty, it, it's real. Also, I'm wearing jeans today, don't be alarmed. I'm just trying something new here. I, you know, in the effort to put myself together a little bit more, I'm gonna be wearing jeans. And I, let me tell y'all, I don't wear jeans around the house. Now, when we were out running errands and going for a walk, I did have one leggings. So once I came back home and got ready for the day, cause I had to get ready to film the haul, I was like, you know what? I wanna put on some jeans. So I'm just wearing some Levi's. They have zero stretch in them. I believe they're size eight. They are snug, but what I'm noticing as, as I'm wearing them, they are starting to loosen up and get a little bit more comfortable. They're not uncomfortable in the waist, um, but like in my thigh area and the butt, <laughs> they're tight. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put some jeans on. I'm just wearing this little black bodysuit from Nordstrom I got a while ago. And I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm usually in workout clothing around the house or a robe or a pajama set but i'm like you know what no just keep this on because usually after i film like a sit down video where i kind of like make myself look presentable because y'all know in these vlogs i'll be coming on here looking any type of way but for my sit down videos i do tend to put a little bit more effort i usually would just take this off and throw on a robe and then come on here and chat with y'all but today is a new day I'm like you know what just keep the jeans on shauna plus i think it will help keep me motivated with my workouts and my eating because when you wear jeans you don't want to eat a lot and so i'm like if i keep these jeans on i probably won't eat as much as i usually do throughout the day you know my little snacking here and there so we'll see but yeah your girl's wearing jeans and what can i say i'm just trying something new out here anywho the creamers brown sugar one is the one that i have been waiting on because duh my store finally got it in and i'm getting ready to try it now i'm about to have my iced coffee in a minute but i got that one so i have now all three flavors and i'm so excited so yeah i'm gonna make me an iced coffee with the brown sugar right now and then PJ should be waking up from his nap here soon. So once he wakes up, I may take him to the park to run around a little bit. Sefton is on spring break. He's actually with his dad. So since the sun is out and it's a little warmer, I may let him go and run around at the park because it's like one of his favorite things to do. Other than that, there's really not much going on around here but this summer I am definitely going to get out more and see more and do more because I don't know when it wears off but I still feel like I'm a tourist 
in this city like there's still so much that i haven't seen there's still so many restaurants that we haven't tried i mean like me and pk talk about that all the time like when we're deciding like what we want to eat it's like i mean there's so many good restaurants here like why not try out something new so so yeah maybe this summer we'll do our little restaurant tour like we did last summer again and try out some new places because that was fun so you know we got some stuff planned for the summer i was gonna be doing some travel i think pj just woke up Hi, did you have a good nap? Okay, I guess he's still napping because he literally laid right back down. So he's so funny. Like, he'll wake up and he'll just lay in his bed and just lay there before he gets up. But I think I mentioned this before like, he won't get out of his bed unless one of us go in there and get him, which is so funny. So he'll just sit in his bed. Like he'll get one of his books off the little bookshelf and he'll sit there and flip through and look at books and talk to his stuffed animals. And I'm like, well, look, I just check on him on the monitor. As long as he's fine and safe, I just let him do his thing. You know, sometimes you don't want to be bothered with people when you first wake up. You just want your quiet time. I get it. So I allow him to have his quiet time when he wakes up. You know, I just kind of let him do his thing. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get my flowers switched out, and um, see what else we're going to get into for the afternoon. I don't really want to cook anything. Seth's gone, so I don't know. Maybe we'll go out and grab something quick today. And yeah, but since we've been on spring break, I've been MIA in this kitchen. Real All right, guys, so it is several hours later and we just got back in. We went out for a little bit. It was a little too cool to go to the park. So we just ran some local errands and then we stopped and got Chipotle. So I'm just preparing PJs. He gets the cheese, quesadilla, chicken and white rice. I'm having a bowl and I just get brown rice, chicken al pastor, which is so good. Veggies, tomato salsa, corn salsa, and then I have them put extra lettuce. No sour cream, no cheese. I usually do a dress. So yeah, I was saying I usually will do the dressing on, on the side, but I forgot to ask them for it. So I'm just gonna put this Bragg's ginger and sesame dressing on it. It should be fine. Yeah, that's it. We're just going to eat. I also, hold on, let me give PJ his food, y'all. Um, I also stopped and grabbed a new candle. I was on Instagram and I saw that Diptyque came out with a new candle collection. It's their, I guess, no. cafe candles they have four different scents they have a cookie scent they have like a cream like vanilla scent that was very light and they have like a fruity scent but of course me being the coffee girl that i am i got the cafe scent right off the bat when i smelled it in the jar it smelled like coffee like sweet coffee and while normally that is not something that i would be drawn to for a home scent just could not resist and i just had to get it plus the packaging is so cute and just so me so i got the new cafe candle i haven't opened it yet i'll open it later and i'll let you guys know how it burns and how I like it. I'll probably let you guys know tomorrow. But yeah, so got a new candle and that's that. So yeah, just chill out, watch some TV with this guy and that'll be it. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello. 
Hello everyone, it is a Saturday. I just had breakfast, well, lunch. I wanted to come on and share with you guys something that I got for the boys. How about Brooklinen did a collab with Sesame Street? I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to get that for my boys' bedroom. Plus I wanted to kind of give their bedroom a nice little spring refresh so i ordered them some new bedding so it literally just came this morning i got them both the exact same one if you guys don't know we are a huge brooklinen family here the boys currently have brooklinen on their bed now so quite naturally when i saw this collab i was like oh that's perfect so um, right when you open a box, you just get a little booklet and then two of the hardcore bundles. So you get two pillowcases. Y'all, this collection is so adorable. It's so nostalgic. Part of this is because I grew up watching Sesame Street. Like most of you guys out there who watch me, we're all like kind of in that same age range. And they have three different prints or designs. And this one just gave me vintage Sesame Street vibes. I don't know what it is, but I just fell in love with it. And it's the most popular one. So anyway, you get two pillowcases, which is nice. Then you get the core sheet set. Got them both twin XL sheet sets because they have twin XL beds. The collection is called um, Park Day. So you get that and then this is my favorite because y'all know I love a good duvet cover. You get the duvet cover as well. So I felt like these colors work really well. They're more like pastel -y colors not like bright and loud. Y'all know those bright and loud colors that are so obnoxious and Sefton actually has a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one on his bed right now but oh so that was one set and the other sets yeah I am going to wash these up for them but yeah I just thought that was so cute and so perfect for spring and yeah but everything else that I have in their room is pretty neutral which is intentional that way when I want to do things like add new fun bedding it's not too busy so yeah we're gonna spruce up the boys a bedding this will be their bedding for spring and summer which is fun so yeah that's what i wanted to show you all and uh, i'll leave all the information below i think i have a discount code i'll reach out to my contact person um because you guys know i I do work with Brooklyn uh, occasionally, and so they always give me a discount code. So I'll reach out to my contact and see if they have a code for you guys because this isn't sponsored. But I do still want to give you guys some savings, you know, if you want to do a little spring refresh for yourself or for your kids. It's always nice to save some money. So I'm going to go. I'm going to get this stuff put in the wash, and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit oh update on the candle y'all it smells so good in here right now i literally just just started burning this and it smells so good like it smells like coffee but in a good way not in a like cheesy cheap obnoxious way or like artificial way it just oh it smells so good like diptyque candles are the best i promise they are pricey but they're so worth it yeah i love their candles so much so yeah i'm gonna go and then i'll check back in with you guys in a little bit okay oh also i'm just wearing fancy homebody uh gray ribbed maxi dress and i just tied the matching top I have the whole collection and I just mix and match the stuff and I just put the shirt around my waist um, but yeah that's what I'm wearing just something super casual for around the house um, until we get ready to head out and grab some food so yeah I'm gonna go I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit all right <laughs>
hello everyone today is monday currently 12 19 and it has been such a productive busy morning seth got back home yesterday got up this morning got him off to school came back went to the gym had a great great workout session with my personal trainer <laughs> went to the grocery store did a target drive up order now i'm back home i also need to film a try on haul so yeah which is why i'm not dressed i've showered put on a little bit of makeup unwrapped my hair i just need to go ahead and get everything kind of prepped and how I want the outfits to kind of come together because I'm gonna try to put outfits together this time and not just try the stuff on so um, I also got some new outdoor furniture that has been downstairs in our storage for over a month but I have not been able to put it out because the weather has been so crappy. Today it is super sunny and it's like in the high 50s. So I may do it today. We'll see. Yeah, I got new outdoor furniture from Cosway. I want to get it set up. I want to get some plants out there because we do not utilize our balcony at all like we never go out there so this summer i want to go out there because we have a really nice view so yeah even if i just go out there in the evenings like after i put the kids down i just go out there and have my tea or have some wine i really just want to utilize that this summer so that is on my list hi baby the oh, you bubbles. got bubbles yeah uh -oh. No, not open yet. You ready to take your nap? No. It's almost nap time. Oh, really quick. I do need to go to Sephora and return the refi mascara. Did not like it at all. And I'm just going to exchange it for my YSL mascara and just stick to my usual. So when I go out to pick stuff up from school, I'm going to stop at Sephora and do a quick little exchange. Hopefully I can get up out of there without buying anything else, Lord. My other items should be coming in this week. I got an email saying that the items have been shipped. It's just been a working day today. Yesterday was just a chill Sunday reset day. I did laundry galore. I washed all our bedding, put the boys new bedding on the bed. Anywho, let me get out of here. Battery about to die. I need to switch this out get to work i'll come back and check in with you guys once i'm done okay all righty i managed to finish recording right as the solar eclipse was happening I'm sure portions of the video are going to be dark because it just got so dark real quick yeah there are like tons of people out on the streets right now it is wild so yeah i finished recording i guess it's okay um, lighting might be crazy but uh, i did not even think about that when i started filming i could have let some more shades up for more light but whatever anywho Moving along, uh, it is now time for me to go pick Seth up from school. PJ is up, he barely napped. So yeah, I'm going to call it a day. I'm all uh, discombobulated right now with this solar eclipse. It's such a distraction. So I'm gonna go, I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. All right, bye.
right y'all it's a new day i don't think i've vlogged in two days it's been a really busy week this is the first week back on our regular schedule since spring break so literally we have been back to back to back with appointments school activities basketball activities pj's activities so it's just been a pretty busy week so i'm still trying to like get back acclimated to our schedule so i got up this morning did my usual worked out all that yeah as soon as i got back in from my workout i showered and i was like you know what i want to make some egg white and spinach little like egg bite muffins similar to the ones that you can get at starbucks but i personally am not a fan of those egg bites at starbucks they don't taste that good to me so i picked up the ingredients i showed you guys when i was grocery shopping i picked up the ingredients during that shopping trip and i was like you know what today is the day that i'm gonna make those little egg little muffins because i just feel like that would be something like easy and quick for me to just have on hand i'm not real big on meal prepping so i'm not gonna make a whole bunch of them i'm just gonna make enough for the next couple days just to have plus they're like high in protein and i like eggs so i'm gonna use spinach turkey bacon and i have some mild cheddar cheese and some egg whites so i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping that now and get that done i'll let you guys watch yeah hopefully they're good so let's go ahead and get started I am back now I just finished eating those turned out so so good so I made six but I only ate two I just put the other four in my little caraway storage container with some parchment paper I'm just gonna put these in the fridge just because it's only four so I'll have two tomorrow after I work out this will be like my breakfast for tomorrow and the next day and then I'll make more and so that's a new little recipe that I wanted to share with you guys. 
and I didn't use the whole bag of spinach even though spinach does like shrink down because I was making those little muffins I was able to kind of like portion it out really really well where I got a good amount of spinach in each muffin the turkey bacon is the key the next time I make these I think I'm gonna use turkey sausage I think that would be so so good so yeah just wanted to share that recipe with you guys I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here I hope you all enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next one bye